Okay, uh, I am Jörg Moré, the director of the German-Russian Museum in berlin karlshorst And I studied history and East European history, I'm speaking Russian, and became, became director seven years ago. Yes, we are, this is a historical site. Um, in 8th of May uh, 1945, in, here in Karlshorst, in this building, the, the yeah, end of Second World War in Europe was made by surrendering the Wehrmacht. So the act of surrendering, the document was signed here in this house in Berlin. And uh, that means uh, about 22 years later, in 67, uh, this house became a museum, the so-called Museum of Capitulation, Museum of Surrendering, Kapitulationsmuseum. And was run by the Soviet troops, by the political department of the Soviet troops at GGR. Uh, that means in, in 94, when the Russian troops left Germany, um, they feared to close the museum. At that point, Germany uh, suggested to going on, go, go on with the work here in Karlshorst. So uh, that, uh, since that, we are a German-Russian museum. It's, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, how can I say, it's, it's very interesting, there are two data, so the 8th of May 45 or 9th of May 45. So the, the document, is, uh, the data is 8th of May. And the first surrendering, or the first act of surrendering was made in France, in, in, the, in Rennes, um, on 7th of May. And at that moment they decided to make a second step in Berlin, the capital of the German Reich. Uh, 8th of May, but when they came together here in Karlshorst, there were huge discussions the whole night. So um, at the end, it was already the 9th of May when they signed. And uh, the Soviet Union, very correctly, um, to the uh, agreements with the Allies, they said, okay, we announced the victory uh, 9th of May after the last step had been, ma uh, had been made. And um, But because of the, the first act of surrendering in, the West, in Western Europe, 7th of May, uh, in, in the West, the newspapers already the 8th of May uh, announced, yeah, victory is ours. So that's why in Western Europe, uh, uh, Western Europe um, the, the 8th of May is so, so common, and in the Eastern part, the 9th of May. This is not political, it's just kind of a uh, um, result of these uh, two steps of surrendering. Oh, do you prefer the 8th of May? Not, uh, I prefer the. I I'm prefer not really the the twenty uh, third um, of of August. Um, yeah, it's a very important data, of course, uh, but more more important is the end of war. I, I would say, and uh, in Germany we already have the twenty uh, seventh of January, um, remembering all the victims of uh, the National Socialist uh, uh, dictatorship. Uh, the Nazi dictatorship, and um, so the uh, 20, uh, um, 23rd of August, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, how can I say, it's too global to focus only on, uh, yeah, the red terror and the, 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 the brown terror made by the Nazis, and it's all, all the same. I think it's, um, um, it's not correct to, to put it all together. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, of course, we are focusing on the first of all of the German politics towards the Soviet Union, and that means uh, the German plannings of a war of annihilation and uh, huge numbers of victims on the Soviet side. On the other hand, of course, uh, there was still the Soviet uh, system of repression, Stalinism, during the whole war. And when the Red Army came to Germany, okay, this is already war, and all the, the, the uh, discussions about uh, raping German women, for example, we are, we are, um, we are pointing out that this uh, happened here in Berlin. So this is shown in our exhibition, but this is not the main topic. And uh, what is needed, I think, for my house is the second part, you can say, the after-war um, history. And, uh, of course, this will deal with the repressions made by the Soviets, but to compare it in a historical sense, this is not, not right. This is it's a different system and don't put it together. This is very interesting and not, not so easy to answer because uh, this guild still exists in a historical sense. Uh, but you're right, this is already 70 years ago. In history that means nothing. 70 years, that's nothing. Um, the second point is that uh, the whole uh, society in Germany um, is built on this um, 
um, it's a kind of, of moral consensus of is built on this guilt. So we confess this guilt, and this gives us a kind of uh, um, kind of um, legitimation uh, um, to yeah to deal as we deal. So just to uh, to have a very critical look on our history, and this is our chance to come back to the community of, of European countries. You're right, in other countries there were dictators as well. Spain, Portugal, Greek, and so on and so on. Nowadays you can have a look to, to what is going on in Hungary or maybe in Poland. This is, uh, this is not a dictatorship. There's a big difference. But uh, this is in a, in, yeah, it's in a direction which is not very uh, hopeful, I, I would say. Um, so, in historical sense, uh, to confess this guilt, this was our only chance to come back to the to the family of the countries, and and that's why we are we are we are we are so focusing on our guilt, and we will not forget for a long time, and um, showing to other countries uh, the first um, reaction in Germany is okay. This is uh, the history of the others. We are we are dealing with this, yes, of course, and we are we have experts uh, look, at, but. How to, um, yeah, how to deal with this guilt or not guilt in Spain, in uh, Portugal and so on. This is a Spanish affair and not a German. And we, we won't, um, um, what is it, uh, uh, disturb this discussion or, 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 or to, to join this discussion. Maybe in a, in a scientific way, but not in a, uh, as a discussion of the society. This is yours and here in Germany, it's ours. Shortly, not, <laughs> um, because um, uh, every nation has a, a, a national histo uh, history, and yeah, this is, 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 is it's, it's great, it's wonderful that we are have the chance in a European um, uh, um, European uh, what is it uh, um, European Soyuz. I'm mean, thinking Russian. Uh, community in the European community um, to dis discuss this uh, uh, to all together, but at the end, at the end, there are there are so different um, uh, traditions, different conditions, and uh, uh, yeah, and cultural things that is n it is not possible to say there's one European uh, remembering, there's one European history. Yeah, we, we have for the last decades of, of years we have a, this a similar history, but. Uh, uh, looking a bit forward, the, the Brexit, yeah, uh, Great Britain will go its, uh, its own way. At the end, it's okay in historical sense. It's a pity for, for uh, the European community, of course. Um, but sh this shows that there is still a, a national way, uh, not nationalism, but a national way. And uh, that's why uh, European remembering is uh, um, it's very interesting, but that means it's a puzzle of very different... Uh, pieces putting together. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Berlin, just to finish, uh, in Germany, above all, the, I think that the, you are the country who, who are uh, the most um, quantity of monuments, memorials, uh, pedagogical centers, original, also memorials, not original. And uh, there are, we could see that there are excluded, well, some kind of characters dealing with victims, memory of the victims, and other ones that they are dealing with the memory of perpetrators in topography or levels or others. Uh, what is your role here? More the memory of the resistance, memory of uh, if you are dealing only with uh, as a historical museum or you are doing also, you are considering that you are doing this work of memory or not? We are we are both, and we are um, minimum two nations coming here together. So we are Germans and Russians, and for the Russians, it's uh, we are, uh, they they are talking about victory, and a very legal fight and a good fight, uh, and 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 yeah, and, and the German uh, point of view is uh, it's it's our defeat, okay, and it's it's okay that it was a defeat. Uh, this is already our guilt. So uh, these discussions already very very different. Um, plus, we, we have colleagues from Kiev and Minsk, Ukraine and, and, and Belarus, uh, uh, right Russia. So, um, 
there's uh, um, lots of dyna dynamics in uh, the last two years or for the last years in, in this discussion. So focusing on the German discussion or the situation here in Berlin, um, yes, we have this um, transnational view. This is very important, I think. Uh, we are focusing on the firstly on the on the historical event, surrendering of the Wehrmacht, and um, the discussions are more in in, in this cross um, cross national way. You can say not about uh, on which side I stand, perpetrator or victim or whatever. Um, in this transnational sense, we are more um, yeah on the on the bad side, on the perpetrator side. And the victims are on the on the other side, on the, but the the turning round, um, the Red Army, the the Soviets, yes, they were victims, but at the end, in the thinking, they are not victims. They are the vic the victories. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So this is this this is very tricky, and I think this is uh, th this is uh, the the main sense of our museum, and this is worth to to come to here to Karlshorst just to to recognize this is uh, this transnational way or look on the same history. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we are a small museum, so by, uh, when you look to our space, we are focusing on German-Russian or German-Soviet, better to say. And uh, already Poland is very difficult to, 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 to uh, switch in. Uh, it it's, uh, must be, I think, without Poland you can't discuss all the things. And going on to, to, to Baltic states, it's become more difficult and difficult. So um, we have little space, so that's we are focusing on German-Russian. And the situation of founding this German-Russian museum in '94 was very political. And it is still political. So there's an interest, in, a political interest by the German government and by the Russian government that this museum exists. And that means uh, that the the focus is all, always on German-Russian relations. Mm. Just to finish, what are your, the challenges of this place? First of all, to... Okay, what are the good things for the future? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. <clears throat> uh, the, the challenge is just to, to preserve this, this place. The challenge is to, to invite more and more people here to this place. And uh, the future, I'm looking forward to, to, to a second part showing the, the post-war history up to 94.